Um, Steph, we were talking earlier a couple of weeks ago, actually. What's, what's the update with the AFLW at the moment? Have we got some dates set in now? Yeah, so obviously um, the teams in Victoria have started training, non-compulsory training sessions. We've got an exemption to heading to the club and small groups um, with, you know, very strict COVID um, protocols. So that's been good just to touch base with the girls. We haven't played any footy in Victoria, obviously, this winter. So it uh, be nice to sort of tick the legs over and see some of the girls. But at, at this stage, we're starting back with the 4th of November is the go date. We haven't heard anything otherwise. So, yeah, hopefully it's all systems go. Is it right you're the last, you've won the last two BNFs? Um, yes, I have won the last two BNFs. She's going for the hat trick she was back in before, it. wasn't she? Oh, yeah, I was chatted about this um, VFL season. Couldn't go back to back to back. Yeah, wanted to play footy from a really young age and was only really skinny. So mum and dad were pretty tentative to let me play. Um, and then I just remember begging them in high school. I'm like, can you please just let me play? I knew there was a team, Diamond Creek, the women's team. Um, and I was 17 at the time and doing year 12 and begged and begged. And I said, all right, if it shuts you up, you can go down to Diamond Creek and play. Chop, stop scoring while I'm talking. <laughs> 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 I love that uh, game. Uh, yeah, here we are. Jamie is um, just taking full advantage of you in uh, your yeah, storytelling period. Take that, take that out front. I don't know who that is. But, um, yeah, so then have it. Oh, it's Rioli, number 17, good man. Um, Great number. I haven't looked back since, really. Um, and then from Diamond Creek, obviously got the opportunity to represent Victoria um, at those biannual state championships. Um, there was all Australian squads then, which gave us the opportunity to be involved in high performance academies. And then all of a sudden it was the exhibition series and represented the Bulldogs. Um, didn't, wasn't picked by them for their priority pick, which was fair enough. I wasn't playing good footy, so I headed to the NAB AFW draft in 2016. And, Fortunate enough for Collingwood to have selected me with pick 11. So, and there's footage of that, and I'm crying like a baby. But um, yeah, very relieved and happy. You kids are so lucky. Little yep. girls who are five years old can play football straight away. That's yeah. pretty awesome. And that's, yeah. that's what we're going to be seeing is the kids coming through. Like they're just they're already so much better than than what we are. I know the season hasn't even started yet, but the NAB AFLW season 20. 20 slash 21, who, who do you think is it? Besides yourselves, if you can't pick on who, who is the biggest contender? Ooh, that's a big question, Dylan. Um, look, you can't go past, I think Adelaide, so getting Chelsea, yeah, Chelsea Randall back. Um, Chloe Schmidt. Yeah, Marinoff, she's a yeah, Marinoff, yeah, she's good. She played, but I think, and then Anne Hatchard's gone to another level. I think you can't underestimate Adelaide, just because they had a, I suppose to their standard, not as good a season as what they're capable of. Um, but yeah, I think North Melbourne are always thereabouts. I think Carlton were pushing this year. I think if the, the season hadn't, hadn't have been cut short, they were probably yeah, a good chance on won. the way. Um, so yeah, look, it's, it's sort of anyone's race, isn't it? You don't know. You really don't know until you start playing. And even then, it can be really tough to pick. It would be very interesting as well to see how all the Victorian clubs go, considering we've had pretty much a year off, whereas Brisbane and Perth have all had the chance to play. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully it's in our favour. I, I actually think it'll work into your girls' favour. Like, you know, sometimes when you have those really long pre-seasons and you peak way too early. Um, well, that happened a lot to me. You know, you come in and you're like so tired by the time the season is halfway through, but realistically, yeah. you girls would be like pretty much into training, ready to go, and you might sort of peak at the right time. Well, that's the thing. Like, usually our, our pre is longer than our, our season. So, yeah. uh, I think you're right. Like, even seeing some of the girls at training this week, like, we've obviously tried to keep in reasonable nick over the over the break. You can, what, we can get outside for one hour and then two hours and do your conditioning session. It was just a lack of gym, I think, and access to... Because you gym, gym, Stephanie. All the time. Look at me, chop. <laughs> and uh, yeah. she had, what, two solo dumps before she hopped on this. Yeah, I think she All right, all right, I'm fantastic. <laughs> Sign me up. <laughs> Here we go. Deke, where is it? Come on, Chewy. Come on. Oh, where are you going? You're even handballing it. Oh, we have. We've got chat. 
Um, Maddie Shevlin uh, says, is this the real uh, Jamie Lambert? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, it is, Chuck- Maddie. She's a bit, she's a bit bitter, Dill, that I got set a wonderful headset. Jamie, Jamie <laughs> thinks it's um, to Steph about that performance um, tonight. Were you confident in that was the way it was going to go? Look, um, <laughs> Steph gave her all tonight, and, um, and she tried her heart out. And sometimes you just you're, you run out of gas, and that's what happened. And um, we both have never played this game before, but. Um, Obviously, I'm better. One Just like seconds. I'm better at football than you too. There you go, G. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. The accolades would agree. The accolades would agree. Um, my major ball winner was Basha Hooli off the halfback flank with 13. So probably not going to win too many. Yeah. 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 What about me? What are my stats? Blaming your players. No, I'm just saying, like, if, you, if you're if Ruckman's your second highest possession getter, you're probably not going to win the game of footy. Uh, unless it's Brody Grundy, of course. 